in a world where humans don't exist, or do they? It's week three of my shelve it or sell it year. This week, we are discussing da 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 da. It's a trilogy. Um, I read Travels of Thelonious, Faradon, and Simon's Dream, all from The Fog Mound, written by Susan Schade and illustrations by John Bueller. Well, first, let me give you a little bit of specs about these three. It's part graphic novel and part heroic fantasy. It's an adventure like no other. Well, all that's on the book, so it's not me like hyping it up, but it, they are pretty cool though. Oh, and these are middle grade, so that's why I could, you know, zip through three. But they were still awesome though. I had book one first and I just found it like at a used bookstore and was wondering if I would like it. But I'm kind of drawn to graphic novels. So yeah, it's part graphic novel, part heroic fantasy. So it's just what, what? So it's pictures and prose back and forth, every, alternating chapters. It's pretty cool. So let's get to the story. I'm going to try to go off the top of my dome. No notes. Still haven't decided if I want to do notes or not. Week three, no notes. We meet Thelonious. He's a chipmunk and he just um, knows all these legends about the humans, what they call the human occupation. But, but he's never actually seen a human. He doesn't know if they're for real or not. One day a storm comes, he gets torn away from his home. He winds up in this this place called the City of Ruins and he meets all these different characters from there. He just like goes on this wild crazy adventure and throughout the three books they're just trying to figure out what happened to the humans. Because all they know, they just know that like the humans treated the earth bad they just destroyed the earth and the population. They have all these like legends, but they don't know for sure what happens. I don't know how much, I don't know. Like, I mean, these aren't new stories, so should they, do I care if they're spoilers or not? I do care, because I want you to read them. What I really liked about this, these, um, these books, well, this story, is that it really reminded me of um, the Phantom Tollbooth, and I love the Phantom Tollbooth. The similarities are that Thelonious, and he's like meeting these, you know, this ragtag group along the way. And they also, um, the New York Times book review also um, said it echoed The Wizard of Oz and The Planet of the Apes. Yeah, those two, plus, um, the Phantom Tollbooth because they travel to all these like different places and meet these quirky animals. <laughs> they go to the City of Ruins, they go to the Fog Mound, they go back to the oh what the forest. I forget what they call the forest. But yeah, they just go to all these different places. They go to this place called Faradon. They just go to all these different places and like encounter all these different types of animals that they didn't know anything of and they just are on the quest for knowledge and I love it but anyway yeah now to the point of the video is will I shelve it or sell it I am going to shelve it I can definitely see myself reading them again because the story, the overall story was just like amazing. So I wish eight year old me would have found these. But I don't I don't think they were around, honestly. Yeah, these weren't around when eight year old me was around.